Now, construction begins on a new fast start power plant on Jurong Island as part of the Energy Market Authority's efforts to maintain a secure supply of electricity in Singapore. Now, the power plant broke ground today with Manpower Minister and Second Trade and Industry Minister Tan Si Leng in attendance. It'll be run by EMA subsidiary Maranti Power with partners from Jurong Engineering Limited and Mitsubishi Power Asia Pacific helping in the plant's development. And for more, our reporter Marcus Tan joins us in the studio. Marcus, what is so special about this particular power station? Right. So this particular plant is what they call an open cycle gas turbine plant, which means that um, it's a bit different from the standard plants that we use in Singapore, which is the closed cycle turbine. So we actually have a picture of what it is going to look like uh, in two years as supplied by Maranti Power. So if you look in the front, you see the chimney, which has the actual, di which has the actual diesel turbines in them. And then in the back, you have the actual diesel storage tanks. So what is different from this plant compared to the current plants that we use is the startup time. So standard plants, are, standard plants will start up within uh, 14 hours from a completely inactive mode to the active mode versus this plant, which takes um, up to 10 minutes just to get uh, fully online. Why would we build this kind of plant here in Singapore? Right, so why would we build this is because of the, um, the need to actually meet uh, demands for power. So if we look at um, currently the, the months of May all the way to July, it's actually extremely hot. And um, what happens when the weather is hot is that companies and households tend to use more power. So what these uh, gas turbines are designed to do is to actually serve as a backup. So from the, uh, from the regular state, they can actually reach their maximum output in uh, 15 minutes. So what this aims to do is to actually uh, meet the uh, shortfall uh, in case there are any disruptions or there's a demand for extra power. So it helps us to cope. Really. That is correct. Yeah. And of course, uh, these plants, we do have uh, some version of them right now, but we keep building them. And uh, I presume that's to make sure that at every point we are keeping up to date and keeping everything running and operating properly for now as well as for the future. Yeah, that is correct. Also, because we actually have a similar plants that actually are, are making up for the shortfall. But these plants are actually 30 years old. So the idea is to actually um, replace these particular plants when, they, when the, the Maranti plant is ready. So um, it, also, it also gives us a little more wiggle room in terms of um, our maximum power generation capacity. So we are projected to... Um, our demand is projected to be between 10 to 12 gigawatts in under five years. Currently, we, we peak at just under 12 gigawatts of production. But the idea is to give us that wiggle room because within five years, it could be completely gone. Right. Well, we have, you know, this move to decarbonize here in Singapore. But uh, as I understand it, the plant runs mainly on natural gas. So how, does, how do we reconcile that? Right. So the plant runs on a blend of uh, natural gas. And also, it's also designed to take on 30% of hydrogen which is the clean fuel that um, everyone's been raving about. And we actually have the option to convert this plant to run on 100% hydrogen. And we also have other uh, corporations like uh, Capo, Semcorp. They also have their own uh, plants that are completely compatible with hydrogen in the future. And um, the idea is to have these plants that can run on uh, these cleaner energies to um, prepare for the, the, the journey to decarbonize because we don't have the infrastructure yet. It's going to happen. But the idea is to have infrastructure that's ready for that change. Mm, a work in progress. Well, every, uh, I think everything in Singapore, at some point, we want public and private sector to, to take part because left alone, any one single sector, things just really won't fly. But for now, the government is stepping in and not the private sector. What are the reasons why? So the short answer is that the private sector is not super interested. But the long answer would be that, well, there are a few reasons why the private sector hasn't dipped their toes into this. And the main reason is that the open cycle gas turbine is not as energy efficient in terms of generating electricity compared to the standard closed cycle gas turbines. But there is an important reason why we have these. And uh, Manpower Minister Tan Si Leng had this to say at the groundbreaking ceremony. Maranti Power has been commissioned to build these new OCGTs as there has not been any commercial interest from the private sector to build them. This is because they are less competitive than CCGTs. Therefore, the government has to step in as a last resort to provide 
the critical infrastructure needed to ensure that our energy sector continues to remain resilient and reliable. Yeah, so he also stresses that because Singapore's energy market is more open, it's still on the, the onus is still on the private sector to ensure that we still have that reliable supply in Singapore. I thought it was the government sector. Um, well, it's the, it's the government, but also it's the private sector that needs to actually um, step up as well in terms of, uh, it, needs to be, it needs to be equal. You can't just have one and then have the other right, um, okay, right, okay. have a less weightage. Okay. In that Sorry sense. for asking me such a silly question. Yeah, thanks for coming in. And Marcus, our reporter, Marcus Tan, in the studio with us. Thank you.